Good morning. It's Friday, November the 13th. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in his doing toward all people. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Jesus taught us, saying, Be compassionate, just as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and there will be gifts for you. A full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap, because the standard you use will be the standard used for you. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. <clears throat> they are jubilant in your righteousness, for you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, I may purify myself as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, I may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. May God richly bless you today and always.